Not even in the deep and dark passageways of the Metro Tunnel could the Premier escape questions about the murky tactics of Victorian Labor. Daniel Andrews refused to comment on allegations he knew about the red shirt scandal in the lead up to the 2014 election, something he's previously denied. We were deeply regretful of what had what had occurred. We accepted responsibility for it, and we move forward. We move forward uh, beyond that. I, I really don't have anything more to add. Sacked Minister Adam Somirek told the IBAC hearings Mr Andrews dismissed him, saying, do you want to win an election or not, when he raised concerns about using electorate staff for campaign work seven years ago. I'm not getting into a debate or a discussion about evidence that's been led by that witness or any other witnesses. I wouldn't do that if there was a court case on. Labor was later found to have misused nearly $400,000 of taxpayers' money during the Red Shirts affair. Premier can't shield himself from this inquiry any longer. Victorians need answers. As Mr Somirek took the stand for a second day, he was repeatedly warned not to waffle as he faced questions about whether he misused taxpayer-funded staff in his electorate office. I've had great difficulty following any of your answers because they are so lengthy, convoluted and around the point. The MP admitted to branch stacking by paying for Somali memberships out of his own pocket during a factional war in Melbourne's South East last year. I had lost all perspective and, um, and uh, you can condemn me in the strongest possible terms. The inquiry also heard Labor MP Natalie Sullivan's father was hired in Federal MP Anthony Byrne's office as part of a factional deal after pressure from Mr Somurek, but he wasn't expected to turn up to work. It's very, very clear he did not want him in the office. Well, Mr Somurek insists the red shirt scandal was corruption because of the sheer scale of the scheme. He claims that getting publicly funded electorate staff to do factional work for a few hours isn't rorting the system. He'll continue to give evidence on Thursday. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.